The purpose of this slide is to introduce some of the thinking associated with percentiles of a distribution. As an example, if you look at raw SAT scores, this is back in 2008, of the top six institutions in the state of Virginia, you have Washington and Lee giving what's known as an interquartile range of 1300 to 1470. And you can think of this 1300 here as the 25th percentile of the distribution of the SAT scores and the 1470 as the 75th percentile of the distribution of their SAT scores. And you can see William & Mary is just a little bit below them, followed by Virginia, University of Richmond, Mary Washington, and Virginia Tech. Let me go back to the Washington and Lee scores again. These all came from data. And earlier, we looked at the box plot. And that could apply here as well. And the 25th percentile is 1300 and the thinking associated with that 25th percentile is 25 percent of the scores were below 1300 and 75 percent were above 1300. Likewise with 1470 that would be the 75th percentile and you have 25 percent of the scores above that and 75 percent below. Now somewhere in between these two numbers and I don't know where this is for uh, Washington and Lee, I'll just make up a number here, maybe 1380, is what's known as the 50th percentile or the sample median. And it's the point where you have half of the distribution above and half below. And then sometimes with these box plots, they like to have a whisker out to the absolute maximum. And I wouldn't be surprised at a place like Washington and Lee that somebody scored a 1600 and it may drop down to their very lowest score, which maybe was 1,080 or something to that effect. As a second example, what is the story if a 10-year-old boy is at the 37th percentile of his peers' heights? Well, here's the story. Heights tend to have a bell-shaped distribution. So this might be the distribution of all 10-year-old boy heights. This particular boy is at the 37th percentile. And what that means is 37% of the area falls to the left of his height. And 63% of the area under this curve falls to the right. So this value right here is the 37th percentile. And sometimes we write that as x sub 0 0.37. Percentiles are not the only names given. They are also known as fractiles and quantiles. And you'll see those used in other textbooks and out in the literature as well.